Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flitting Feathers here again tonight. I had uh, doing another video for you, I'm tying a clouser floating minnow. Good surface pattern. What's uh, what's for a range of species and fresh or salt water. So the hook I've got in the vise is uh, a Gamakatsu SC15, and this is a one of it. Obviously, you can change the hook to suit yourself, where you're fishing, etc. And I'm just using some tan, Danvo's flat mat wax nylon. Running on a short base along the straight part of the shank. For the throat, I've got some crystal flash. About 15 20 strands. Just red, plain red crystal flash. Tie it in and keep it on top of the shank. Come right back to the bend. And then I'll cut it about a shank length. Save that for my next fly. So next I'm going to take some white bucktail for the belly. Quite a thin bunch. I'm just going to clean out any fibres from one that are a wee bit too short, any of the under fibres, any under hair or crap that's in there. And so, like two and a half shank lengths or so, we'll do my tail. I'm just pinch and loop that in. Take two or three turns to. Lock it and hold it nice and tight, and again make sure it stays on top of the hook. Right, you don't want to, you don't want it rolling round. You want the you want this to be vertically quite thin. Trim away the waist, and then I'll grab some flash, and I'm just going to use some uh, new sparkle here from Subai, but you can use. Flash Abu, Crystal Flash, whatever you like. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it around the thread and I'm going to adjust it so that I've got a two thirds and one third um, length so that they're uneven and I'm just going to catch it in my thread, wind it back on top and then I'll trim it just a wee bit longer. It's a wee bit longer than the bucktail. Uh, I'm putting a tan back on this. So, just a bit more bucktail. Similar, similar bunch. Now keep it nice and thin. Again, hold it by the tips. Just take out any rubbish. And I'm going to let this just be slightly shorter than the the, the white. And again just pinch and loop, catch it in. Keep everything nice and level on top. Trim away your waist. Then just tidy everything up. Nice tight wraps to secure everything. And create a nice smooth base for except from the foam head. Quick quick finish. Two or three turns will do. This is going to be sealed inside the inside the body. Now for the for the head, I'm using bug bodies, it's a spider body, soft foam, it's a size 8, um, and you need two, 
you need two for the head. So, what I'm going to do is, I like to super glue the, the, my offside, so it's the side facing you. Be quite generous. And then, I'll tip the fly on its side, just slightly angle it. And then I'll come in and just position the body you want the the underside running parallel to the shank of the hook and as you can see here there's about two thirds above the shank and about a third below, roughly. Then, a bit more super glue on the upper side. Just coat all of the inside of the foam. Don't worry about getting any on the thread or hook shank. Try to avoid that if you can. Because you can then place the bug body against the shank which has got no glue adjust it and line it up and then just press them together at the top side when they're nice and even hold them for a couple of seconds so that they bond that's, that, that's nice and secure you can come and have a look at the underside And plenty of super glue in there. And just press the underside together as well. Hopefully don't stick your fingers together. Oh, I'm bleeding. Right, so that's basically the tying done. It's fairly, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Um, I'm going to just stick on an eye. Use whatever eyes you like. Flat tape. Don't use um, dome eyes. Just go. Try to position them sort of roughly in the middle of the fat part of the, the bug body. Give them a wee squeeze. And then I'm going to mix up some just some glitter. This is just nail uh, nail glitter. Get for the like this for salons and what have you for doing women's nails. I'm just gonna get some of that onto my onto a post it. Don't go crazy. And then some fly finish, thick. You could use epoxy. Entirely up to you. Got a good blob of it. And then I'm just going to quickly mix it together. Usually I would I like to tie a batch and then coat them all together but just for the purposes of the video I'm doing one. I'm just going to take a toothpick and get that thoroughly coated and then once you're quite happy that it's well coated, I like to just rotate it a couple of times, let it even out, and then I'll hit it with my lamp. I 
give it a good couple of seconds, make sure it's well set. And that's it. That's uh, the Clouser floating minnow. I've tied this one in a sort of tan over white, sort of anchovy type colour. I mean, obviously, you can tie other colours chartreuse and white, uh, black and purple. Tie them a bit bigger, tie them a bit smaller to suit the waters you're fishing. So, thanks very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a thumbs up below. Tight lines, guys. Bye.